Welcome back, my Minecrafting friends, to the Day of Reckoning. The August Hardcore Challenge is over, and it is time for me to judge who the winner was. So, I have returned to the island where it all began. Nineteen players posted episodes in this challenge. Let's see if there's any creepers waiting to blow me up before I can even finish my little monologue. Anybody down here? Okay. This is where I killed it. Enderman, this is where I killed some zombies. There now, maybe we won't get interrupted. Okay, as I was saying, 19 players uh, started out on this island. Uh, four of them didn't make it off the island. That was. Brock Hand died on the island in day one. Optimus 1971 died on this island on day one. Cyber Neon Let's Plays died on this island on day two. And Amy Ja died on this island on day two also. The 15 remaining players made it to the jungle. Uh, by by day six, we had lost three more players. Uh, Garland died in day three. Uh, Nathan Pelton died on day six, and Emily Salen died on day six. Okay. By day twelve. Uh, Five more people had died. Uh, Pizza Pizza Pie died on day seven. On day ten, NTA Nation died. On day eleven, Scotty Garbitas died. Uh, the first time that Scotty had died in a hardcore challenge. I was really surprised. Uh, on day twelve, uh, we lost Lost in the Fort. Uh, he died on day 12, and also on day 12, Velk died, which left four players who survived all the way to the end, uh, built bases, and now it is my job to judge who made the most impressive base. How come I only have, oh, my other boat's in the water, that's why I only have one boat, okay. I knew I made two boats. Okay, so now uh, I get to judge. See, if you remember right, the object of this challenge was to see who could make uh, the most awesome base in the jungle. It, it wasn't uh, a matter of, of who could do the most awesome personal uh, achievements and uh, as if, if if you've been watching this series, you know that Psycho uh, killed a Wither, uh, which was certainly awesome, but is totally irrelevant to the objective of the challenge. Uh, the challenge was who who made the most awesomest base in the jungle. Okay, so four people survived uh, and made awesome bases in the jungle. Those four people are V Aspen 12, The Puka, Max Ryder, and Psycho SFK. So let's take a quick look at V Aspen 12's base, shall we? This is V Aspen 12. Hello. Welcome to the final episode. Hello, V Aspen 12. Of 
Of what? The hardcore challenge. Ah, the hardcore challenge. Man, has it been fun. I can't believe that we're finally done. Yep, we made it. That this is the 13th one. All 13 episodes. You survived them all. I can't tell you how crazy it is. Oh, the tell me about it. I've actually... That we've actually survived. <laughs> I know what you mean. Who had no... I totally thought I was going to die. Oh, there was really a couple times. I was worried this. about you and... Me but too. But look. We are alive. Oh yes, we are alive. And it is definitely have been a great and learning experience. I've learned that I hate boats. Oh, well, <laughs> you know, boats are like that. It's always something you need to learn one and another. Boats can like be difficult. Boats Ah, cows, Honestly, chickens, farm. Honestly, I have no farm. clue how to end this. I mean, this has been Let's see so your much house. fun, but everyone, like, I've watched everyone else, and they've done super awesome ways how to end it. And yeah, it's like, you have too? This is an awesome base. I wish base. I could have done that. Well, you know. Instead of, because, like, you know, blah, 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 blah. I won't even say it, but yeah. Definitely well, learned a lot this. You got a great from farm. other people. You got this, cows, I totally didn't know chickens. you could get with her skull. You got a nice house. I'm getting creative. That shows you how awesome I am at this. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, as you may notice on in V Aspen 12's base, uh, she has a very nice house. Okay. Uh, we'll have to give her that. Uh, she has a small wheat farm, which is uh, probably completely adequate to her needs. Uh, she also has cows and chickens which is cool. She has an enchanting table. Uh, outside she has a mine and a portal. Okay, I mean outside as in, you know, you have to go outside from her house to get to it. Okay, so uh, is this a... If, if you were looking for, uh, you know, a place to move into the jungle, this this would not be a bad place. This would be, it's it's livable, self-sufficient, it's stylish, it's got a great view, uh, it's good security, uh, nothing wrong with this base, okay? But, moving right along, let's take a look at the Puka's base and see what he has done. It's well into day 14 right now. I just thought I would uh, tell you what I end with. Uh, just do a summarization for the end Thanks. of it, this episode here before I start cool on house. what is going to be day 14. Oh, but I, I have armor, ended... Gold armor. <laughs> yeah, you're going to put it in my episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. It uh, counts. I ended day 13 with three discs, small, mellow high, cat inside, of, uh, inside here. Uh, let's put cat back in as we uh, go over everything that we have. We have a grass dirt block, a silk touch pick. Um, we have name tag that we haven't named yet because I didn't get enough iron for oh, it. Oh, you got a name tag? Yeah, got a name tag. Nice. Uh, I, never did find, I never found an abandoned mine at all. Uh, I found, found the end portal. Uh, wasn't able to go through it. Got ourselves uh, an entire book set for oh, level 30 enchanting. Oh, nice. So we're all nice good there. Room. Um Let's see here. What else could I possibly toss out there? I kind of have my options. You didn't die. Yes, of course I didn't die. The, <laughs> the log that. house isn't really as complete as I wanted it to be. I wanted it's it to cool, be though. more of a log, but here's part of the part of the tree falling down. Here's part of the the stump that I lived in. And I finished my house. it uh, it doesn't and look this that guy, secure. Yeah. Well, I think too big. Let's you see did. here. I got diamond horse armor, two diamond or horse armors, uh, four diamonds, and you haven't even moved all your that's stuff pretty much your all that's yet. of basic value. So, biggest Correct. accomplishment, I found the uh, found the end portal, okay, and right, uh, I survived all the zombie attacks from all these graves that have been placed and placed here. Oh my gosh, there's a creeper in the midst of them. Oh my gosh, that would have been a way to go out. No, come here, come here, creeper. Come here. You're going to let him blow you up. No, you no, can't. no. You can't. No, come here. Creeper. Creeper. Come here. Come here. Come here, Creeper. Come here. Oh, and the creeper's in the nether. The creeper's in the nether. And we have a creeper <laughs> in the nether. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you may notice on the Puka's base, 
that is a very original creative design log house. Uh, I've never seen anything like this before. It's, it's really cool. Uh, he has an enchanting room with full bookcases, so you wouldn't have to make any more bookcases. Uh, he has a, a small wheat farm, uh, which is, you know, probably producing enough wheat to, you know, to sustain anybody. Uh, he has a music player, so, you know, he can play music. He has uh, some chickens in a, in a hole outside, and he has a nearby portal. Uh, some of the things I would I would say were uh, were negatives on his base. Uh, I'm not I'm not secure. I'm not sure that his his log house is is secure. Uh, the way he's got all the logs and and vines and stuff on the outside of that, I don't know that there isn't a way that a creeper couldn't you know like hop up the outside and and drop in on him. Uh, now, I don't know for sure, but I, I would be worried about security. Uh, the fact that his mine and his uh, portal are, you know, like out there, you have to go outside to get to them, and his farm and his chickens are all disconnected. He's also got his chest and a couple of ovens and, and another crafting table out on the beach. You know, his, his stuff isn't very well uh, centralized. Uh, but still, it is a really cool uh, design. Uh, I like it a lot. He's got the he's got the great uh, enchanting room. Uh, nothing wrong with with this place. If I was you know if I was looking for a place to move into the jungle, uh, this would this would certainly certainly have some some pluses. Okay. So, moving right along. Uh, Next, let's take a look at uh, Max Ryder's house. Okay. Cows, cat. I didn't get any milk. Oop, skeletons are burning. Time to go out and take one last look at my house. Oh, good job, uh, Max. Got that one. That's not get blown up the last episode. That will be annoying. <laughs> Don't let the creeper blow up your nice, <clears throat> your nice beach. Oh, he almost went. I don't want him to destroy my pristine beach. No, we don't want that. My lovely beach where no creeper has ever exploded. Oh, look at that There's beautiful house. house. Hey, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, this is the last episode. I survived to the end. I ended up with all diamond tools, all enchanted. Yeah. Uh, Doesn't really matter. Enchanted bow. It's almost broken because I didn't find enough string. And a really nice house, so I consider it a success. Even a really nice a house. Lot. Look at that. So, thanks everybody for watching, and I will talk to y'all next time. Bye. <laughs> you got to say it that time. Yep. All right. Uh. Max has got a beautiful house, okay? You have to give him that. And uh, another advantage of Max's house is it has vertically integrated mining and indoor farming facilities, okay? He doesn't have to go outside to, you know, risk his, risk his uh, valuable behind uh, trying to get to his mine or his farm, okay? Uh, he also has uh, cows and chickens and a cat, uh, which are all like fenced in, right, connected to his house. He doesn't have to uh, go outside of a secure perimeter to get to them either. So everything is very secure on on Max's uh, Max's house. He also has an enchanting table. Uh, all four players have an enchanting table, so that. That would be uh, that would be a wash. Uh, although the puka does have more bookcases than anyone else, but uh, you know, making more bookcases is is something that could be uh, added relatively easily. Uh, but still, it's it's nice to have them already there. Okay, so uh, if I was looking for a place to move into the jungle, uh, Max's house would would definitely be way up there on my list okay he's got he's got everything you need he's got great security he's 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 got a really good looking place uh, he doesn't have a portal okay 
uh, the Aspen 12 had a portal, uh, the Puka had a portal, and uh, Psycho's got a portal. Max is the only one with no portal, uh, so you know you'd have to add that. But other than that one little negative, I would say that Max has got almost the, the perfect base. Okay, so now let us move along and take a look at Psycho SFK's base and see what he has to offer. And feed it that. Hello, Psycho. Um, oh, you know what? What? Ah, yes. You can make a hole. Love it. There we go. There we go. Let's repair the roof. Yep, don't want a hole in the roof. Boom, baby. Throw Boom, that back baby. up in there, and we still have to pay homage. What do we want? Speed? I don't think I'd go Check. for speed. Ha <laughs> ha! Speed, baby! <laughs> Let's take a look inside. <laughs> yeah, that is certainly cool. Okay, play homage. Oh, Here great we go farm. to the golems. Melons. Uh, there was only two of them. Pumpkins. Son of a Weak. biscuit. How am I going to do this? You got a nice farm. Uh, I don't want it to be uneven. Hmm. Oh, well. Psycho, don't be a freak. One golem. To the golems. They made this possible. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and throw our roses in the chest, our seeds. Nice view. All that, that. See the desert. And See da -da 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 -da. the snow. Our clock. Let's get our clock on a bar. What the hey? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> And we have strength. No, we don't. We have uh, jump boost or speed. Speed in a tree is probably not the best idea. Yeah, I wasn't thinking What the heck? You know what I'm saying? I wonder if you can do. That'd be cool if you could do hunger. Resilience, jump boost. What's this? Strength. <laughs> strength would be cool. Hmm. Regeneration. Okay. Well, guys, nice. what do you think? <clears throat> I beat the wither. I got the wither. Uh, I got the what do you call this thing? Beacon. Yeah, uh, you got going a beacon. and functioning. Thank God. I wonder if I covered this up. Will it mess with the beacon? I don't think so. Oh yeah, baby. See, oh yeah. Still Let's works. Throw that up in there. And do I still have speed? Yes, I do. Let's get rid of the soul sand. That. Okay. Cobble, cobble. Well. Cobble, gobble, nice, gobble, cobble, cobble. Nice house, Psycho. But I am signing out. Alrighty then. Uh, okay. Psycho has got his uh, his house built in the top of a tree, which is really great for a view. Uh, but one drawback to his design is the uh, getting in and out of his house. You know, involves uh, a very long. Uh, risky climb uh, from which you could easily uh, fall and take fall damage. Uh, of course the uh, V Aspen 12 and the Pukas houses are on the ground so there's no risk of fall damage there. Uh, Max has uh, designed his house well enough that uh, there's n no if very little risk of fall damage because all of his climbs are, are short uh, and easy. Uh, so this this would be one uh, negative on Psycho's house is uh, I don't like the uh, I don't like the entrance and the exit from the house. Okay, uh, his house has a nether portal uh, connected to it uh, right there on the side. You don't have to leave his secure perimeter to get to it. That's kind of handy. Uh, he has he has uh, the best farm of, of the four players. His farm has wheat melons and pumpkins. Uh, the other three players do not have melons or pumpkins, they just have wheat. So that's a that's a point for Psycho. He has an enchanting table, which everyone else has one too. Uh, he has no animals though, which which is a, a slight minus. I mean, you can go get animals, I suppose, but you know, that's something else you'd have to add to his house to make it uh, to make it really what, what I would be looking for. So uh, but he has something that no one else has got. He has a beacon. Okay, now the the way he got the beacon, you know, killing the uh, c 
killing the withers skeletons and killing the wither boss you know was was all very impressive and 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 very irrelevant to the to the objective of the challenge but he did make the beacon and put it in his house so you know if i was looking at these four uh houses uh v aspen 12 the pukas max riders and psycho's house i would have to go with the one with the beacon okay i mean what can you say uh a beacon is cool you know uh i'd i'd have to do something i'd have to fix the uh the entrance you know the entrance climb you know make it either in in shorter stages or uh enclose it so that there's no way you could fall out of it uh, and I'd have to add uh, areas for animals you know either down on the ground or up on the top of his tree I don't know that would be kind of weird having animals up on the top of a tree but I mean if I was looking for a place to move into the jungle I think I would pick the one with the beacon because beacon is cool it's something no one else has of course you know, the Puka's got his music player, which is something no one else has also, but I think a beacon, I never had a beacon, but I, I have a feeling that they're going to be really useful for, for something or other. Okay, so now, uh, I'm going to wait till daylight, and then we're going to take a jog into the jungle and and see the the house that I built. I promised that I would show you a completed, completed house, and we're going to do that. Uh, so... We will be right back when the sun's coming up. Okay, it is morning and we are heading into the jungle. Let's see if I can't go around this little bit of sand here. Cut off some running time. Gonna need that boat again. All right, I think my house is right over this sand wall, sand cliff. What do we call that? bridges on that side. Let's see if we can't work our way around to that side. was I was intending to copy uh, a design by a minecrafter named I think it's Stupak uh, let me let me look up his name real quick here so I give him proper credit make sure I had to cut all these trees down to make that house uh, his name is Let's see. Steepuck. S T E P U K. Steepuck Craft uh, has a, a tutorial on how to build this, but uh, I had to change I had to deviate from his design quite significantly. 
uh, his design has got I think six or seven uh, levels mine only has three his has got a larger base than mine uh, lots of the small details are different uh, although I th and the, the materials are different uh, a lot of the construction detail a lot of the design details are different one thing that uh, I can say is that it was inspired by his design okay completely inspired by his design but not a copy uh, let's see this this is a uh, Rokosma's uh, drawbridge if you check out Rokosma's channel uh, he, he uses this drawbridge I learned that from him I think he got it from someone else but whatever uh, this is the inside the bottom level uh, looks like this this is this is where I keep my stuff okay on the second level this took a ridiculous amount of time to is the farming level I have uh, all kinds of see melons pumpkins uh, I found a chest it had uh, melon and pumpkin seeds in it. Uh, the coordinates for that chest are 2044, 24, and 710. Okay, if you want to go get uh, melon and pumpkin seeds for for your farm. Uh, on the other side here, I have the. Uh, the stalks and, and wheat in here Let's get the seeds down on the bottom here okay that's where I do my farming that's how I made all that bread on the top level the third level uh, it's just basically a lookout platform I don't have anything uh, up here other than just a place to, to enjoy the view I really should put uh, some uh, cows and chickens over there put fences and, and cows and chickens over there I had to cut all the trees down between this lake and the next lake in order to make this it took a, a ridiculous amount of wood uh, I haven't touched the jungle in any other direction there's my boat still there from when I first got to this lake and that's that's it okay uh, I hope you guys all come back for the October challenge. Uh, October is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it is the uh, Save the Village challenge. So we will be, uh, there won't be a problem with food. There won't be any islands. Uh, there won't be any sailing. So V Aspen 12, don't worry about boats. There was no boats in October. Uh, the, the biomes, well, uh, you start out in a, uh, on the edge of a plains biome but really close to a desert biome and there's also nearby forest biomes so woods not a problem uh, because of the village foods not a problem uh, because of the plains you can you can get horses uh, you know if you can find you know saddles and armor and stuff like that you can get horses you can build a, a stable and do horse stuff uh, so that uh, that wraps it up for the uh, the August challenge. Uh, challenge is over. Uh, Psycho is the winner because uh, of his beacon. Uh, and let's see if I can. I made it. Uh, about half the time I missed that jump. So this is another, let me give you one last, one last long view here. Hey, Cal. 
of my mm. house in the jungle. Okay, and this is Mike Deering signing out.